there is this guy I usually listen to on TikTok. And the reason why I listen to him is because he does a very good job in putting the mainstream media to shame. I want you guys to learn from him just as I have learned from him. Bush Sr. got on TV and announced to the world all Iraq has to do is to give up its weapons of mass destruction. He had to give up the chemical weapons that the U.S. had supplied him. And so Saddam Hussein did. He took all the chemical weapons and he put them in the desert in August of 1991 and blew them up. Well, the UN weapons inspection regime shows up shortly afterwards. The guy who ends up in charge of it is a guy named Scott Ritter, who had been a Marine. He goes to the Iraqis and goes, okay, show me your weapons of mass destruction. The Iraqis go, we don't have any chemical weapons. Scott Ritter goes, no, I know you have chemical weapons. He then shows them the receipts. The Iraqis go, yeah, we had them, but you said we had to get rid of them. We blew them up. Because you blew them up? Yeah, we didn't think you wanted anybody to find out who was giving us the chemical weapons. So he's like, all right, show me where the weapons were. So they take them out in the desert and they set up sifters. From 1992 to 98, that's the primary task of the UN weapons inspection regime is to go into the desert and sift the sand looking for the serial numbers for the rockets. In that six years, Scott Ritter found 98%. He was ready to say, you're not a threat to us. Right before he's ready to give the clean bill of health, there's I think one more location they needed to inspect. And then goes, get out, and then bombs Iraq. The US News reported Saddam Hussein throws out UN weapons inspection issue. George Bush. The media is one crazy set of, oh my God. Oh my God, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, of course. They don't just want, they don't just want anybody to find out. They don't just want anybody to find out. You see, politics is a dirty game, man. It's a, it's a really, it's a scary game. It's not just dirty, it's scary too. It's scary too. How many of you know the story? How many of you do know the story like he actually uh, explained it here? You see, that is part of the reason why I, 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 I like listening to him. It it's, makes me go, wow. So this is exactly how it's happened, you know. Learning these things and learning these motives and learning these ways will teach us or better make us prepared so that we can be able to understand when events like this happen again in the future. Because one thing that we know that is certain in life is that things actually repeat itself over and over and over and over and they use the same tactics. Although they are different set of people belonging to the same club, doing the same thing differently. But just as the saying goes, it's the same game, different players, so they use different players to, to actually do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.